Hi, this is Tanya Tittle from Energy Fitness. I am going to do a video showing you how to get up and down off the floor. I have lots of clients as they age. They have such a hard time getting off the floor. So it's like mobility in the hips and the low back. And then some people can't do some of the positions because they can't be on their knees. I'm going to show you something called the Iowa Brace Test, which is an assessment of the ability to get off the floor without your hands. So research has proven that people that can do this in their 50s and 80s um, actually have longer longevity. So I'm going to show you that way getting down. So basically you're going to, you cross the legs. So let's just assume I'm in this position already. I'm in the, and then you are going to lean forward or kind of rock forward and come up. So in no way do we ever sit down and just sit up straight. We kind of do a rocking. So the ability to do that is pretty important because then it's the low back and the, the hips. So if you need some help to do that, you could hold on to something or even sideways. And then maybe you just work on, maybe you can only go here, but you work on maybe five reps on each side. And there's a different way to do it too. Some different ways. Here's another way to get off the floor. So if you need to get off the floor, and this is, if you have bad knees, then you may want to make sure that the the strong leg is on top. So when you come like this, you're not going to be in this position very long. You're going to put the strong leg up here, and then you tuck the toe under back here, and then make sure that you're not pushing this knee forward. You're actually coming up like that. So if you have a hard time getting up like that, you could use something. So like here, you see that I have the stool. Again, you put the strong leg up, go here, and then just come up. So if your toe, your toe can be under or um, tucked under you. So then another one could be if you have flexibility in your hamstrings and you're like, oh, I can't do it with my knees. Nobody's judging you. Like you just got to do the best that you can do working with your body. So I'll show you two different ways that you can do this. So almost like a downward dog. So you go tuck the toes under. You have to be able to kind of get up in this position and then just walk yourself like almost like an inchworm and see how I'm making sure that I'm poking my butt back. So if you're not flexible enough to do that, then you could bend the knees from that position. So we go here and then we just take little steps forward like this and then come up. What we don't want to do, what I hate to see, is when people do this, oh, oh, that puts so much stress on the back. And notice how I'm leaning forward. Everything that I did before, I'm shifting my body backwards. So another one, if you want to do it without your, um, without using your hands, you could be here and then turn your leg this way here. And then you could use the hand on this. So I'll show you this way too. So you could go here and then put this leg this way. So let's see. go here, move this leg, and then do this. So I saved one of the best ones for last though. This is the one that I like the most um, because there's so many of the people that have poor knees, flexibility issues in the hips and the back. So this is, you're gonna start in this position, but then we're just gonna rotate. Now you are gonna use your um, hands. So I'll start like this, my feet are crossed. And then I'm just going to basically unwind. Now, when I get here, I'm going to shift my weight backwards, right? I'm not going to do the whole getting up, hunkering it over at my hips. So you can see which side that you're better at. So you go here and then you just rotate here and sit back and do that. So how can you get down? That's the problem. They're like, oh, well, I have problems getting down on the floor too. Well, just go here, cross your legs and do here. So again, you can see, you gotta figure out which way, you'll just have to get bit better at like which way you're going. So if my right foot's over, then I go this way. So then if I do the same thing, I go down, butt's back, I'm gonna rotate that way. So hopefully that helps you be able to get off the floor fast, because the ability to get off the floor up and down fast is gonna be better health, better movement.